Hi guys, today I will be sharing my version of chocolate strawberry shortcake. We need 50 ml of fresh milk, 40 grams of butter, 40 grams of cocoa powder, 6 eggs, 1 cup plus 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 thirds cup plus 2 tablespoons of cake flour. First thing you need to do is to prepare your cake pan. You can use one 8 inch round cake pan or you could use two. I choose to use two. Line it with parchment paper on the sides and at the bottom, just like so. And then we're gonna combine the milk and the butter, melt it in the microwave, just like so. Set this aside to cool down completely. Combine the flour, cake flour, and the cocoa powder. We will sift this. After sifting, we will set this aside and we're gonna move on to the next step. I've got a pot of simmering water and then I'm gonna put my eggs on top of this and then using an electric beater, beat the eggs, then add the sugar. We will continue to beat this until the eggs, um, egg temperature is warm or like blood temperature occasionally leave off your bowl to release some of the steam so the eggs will not curdle just like so and then once you remove it from the pot once we reach the desired temperature continue beating this until we reach the ribbon stage which I will show you later. And this is the ribbon stage. See, like it takes a while for the um, figure of eight to disappear. And now we're gonna save the cocoa powder and cake flour mixture again. Mix this using the folding method. Just be careful not to deflate the air that we put in. Now we're gonna add the butter and milk mixture. Just make sure that it is not hot. Make sure that the bottom of the bowl is um, free from any flour. And then transfer this in your cake pan. Bake it at a preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes. Before baking, give your cake pan a tap to release some of the air bubbles. And this is what it looks like after baking. Now immediately remove the parchment paper and let it cool down completely this is our cake cooling down now we're gonna move on to the filling one third cup of powdered sugar 600 ml of thickened cream and 100 grams of dark baking chocolate 
Add about one fourth of the cream into the chocolate and melt this in the microwave for about a minute. First, melt it for 30 seconds, stir, and then put it back in the microwave and stir until it's melted like this. We will we will cool this down completely. While we're waiting for this to cool down, we're just gonna cut off the strawberries lengthwise. Just like so. Combine the icing sugar and the cream. Beat it a little bit just to uh, mix it properly. And then we can add the cold ganache. Then continue beating until we reach uh, medium to steep peaks. And this is the consistency that I am looking for. I'm gonna stop beating here. Now cut the cake in half. We're gonna be using um, four layers today, but it's up to you. How many layers you want to do now we're gonna assemble the cake first add the cream spread it around and then we're gonna lay the strawberries on top then add the cream again Then put the second layer of cake and then do the same process until we um, reach the third layer. This is now the third layer. So add the cream. Then strawberries again, cream again, and then we're going to put the top layer. Now Add a lot of whipped cream on top. Any excess will just um, go to the sides of the cake. Then just smooth the sides, fill up any gaps. And then this is the point when I realized that I don't have enough strawberries. I bought two punnets, but some of the strawberries are not good. So that kind of throws me off a little bit with the decoration. So I'll be the first one to admit that the decoration is not that good. Sorry about that. But the cake is, the cake tastes good. So it's a waste not to put this up. I'm using a plain piping tip to pipe the decorations on the side and then I decided to um, shave some chocolate on top and then um, 
scattered some powdered sugar and then just to show you what it looks like inside when you cut it open the cake tastes good I hope you give them a try and I hope you do better decoration than I did Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!